good morning. So today we're heading over to Old Bones Fabrications. These are the guys that have been taking care of our project step side. Now you may remember in the previous video we went over, we spoke about our plans for the vehicle, uh, putting the LS in there, and what we wanted to do with the frame, the stance, and other things like that. Well, it's been quite a while. They've had it around about five months, and we're in the closing sort of weeks of the project now. We've probably got about another eight weeks left till it's done. We haven't been over and seen anything for quite a while now but they have been keeping us updated with photos and it's progressed quite a lot since the last time we saw the vehicle. So we're going to head over there, have a look how things are going. You'll also get a reveal of the paint colour in this one, see the wheels that are now built, have a look at the engine, hopefully that big supercharger will be there for it as well and a few of the other details that we're working on in the project. So we're going to give you a little look around where we got to. Um, it's a lot further than it was last time. I mean, it's got an engine in it again. That it always did, helps. It did have one of these when we bought it, but it weren't the same one or the same size. It's been in that a few times now. Of course, with the supercharger on top now. Yeah. Um, but we got yeah we've got a problem with uh, pulley alignment. So we're just waiting here back from the Delbrock to uh, find a solution to that. Um, and then we're going to. We've got all the headers and everything for the flanges now, so we're just going to start fabbing all those up so you've got some nice tubular headers and that. Okay. And we've got valve pipes for straight <coughs> through, so that'll be literally straight yeah, through. Yeah, just, just on a flick of a switch, you just run open pipes, make the ground shake. That's yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. A bit loud. Nice. Wheels are done as well, if you want to have a look at the wheels. Look at the rear one, the yeah, rear one's yeah. a bit more impressive, a lot more impressive. Got to finish them off. Ooh. I won't clip that one though because that will scratch the paint. I'm not quite ready to scratch the paint yet. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Give it a couple it of weeks. <laughs> Let Simon drive it and then. Oh, <laughs> he's not allowed to drive it. Don't I will want to be the first one to push those caps on there. <laughs> no. Now if you put a little bit of grease on it. Yeah, it'd be fine. Yeah. So yeah, we've got, that, got all the bed on hinges now. Um, we're just working out the front front hinge mechanism on the framework, um, and then it was going to get powder coated frame colour. Um, going to leave all the wood. So we've gone with we come in here. We've gone with a contrasting grey with the green. So this is the body colour that we're going. What you see in the centre of the wheels and the inner wings over there, um, and then powder coated the whole frame grey. We powder coat this up the same grey as well. Um, this all will the, all be body colour, won't it? And yeah, yeah. And the drivetrain is just going to be gloss black. Yep. Um, so you've got the backs, the barrels of the wheels, uh, the rear axle and the prop shafts all going to be gloss black. And then and we're then going to have the hard line on the Yeah, air hard line, copper hard line on the air system, um, aluminium hard line on the, on the fuel system, and then you've got copper nickel brake lines and that, all the crunch shafts that are real nice. And then the exhaust, we're going to have all the rear section all pike up. So that looks a bit like Well, I've, everything else is on this polished in it. Is that what I thought? Like you've got all the polished, like, yeah. Yeah, bits if on fit, wood I'd like. I don't want to introduce too many no, different textures no. and colours. So we've got the green, the sort of grey, silver, black, polished yeah. and black. Yeah. And everything's shiny <coughs> at the minute because we've done like gloss black on running gear barrels. So that's say what I had in mind. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get, I'm going to tack it all together, sent off for polishing, and then run the welds over the polished pipe. So yeah. you've still got the colour from the welds in there. Nice. Oh, that's real nice. Yeah. Especially on the pie cut bits as well. Okay. Yeah, nuts. That's the plan. Yeah. Yeah, that's a show. Going on a small adventure. Do you know where it is, man? So that's the one we got, so I'll just reimburse you for that one. Yeah. That's the original one, yeah. So, pop one. That's fucking lovely. You can't have one that's back to work. It does, yeah. Probably me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 With the charger, we've got to do some modifications still. Um, Anyway, air filter out the wing, yeah, and then 
We're going to try and get those covered. So yeah, we're going to try and get the covers so we can see all this ties in quite nicely. Where do the inner there. wings come to on this? About here, somewhere. Uh, the inner wings they they come come across here like this, but then they come quite close down here. Okay. Uh, so we're fine with this. This so it'll look here. quite clean. You'll just see the. Top. Yeah, it'll look nice and clean. And so what power are we going to make without them? So this is going to put about 580 five horsepower. And similar figures and torque as well, so yeah. Will them brakes be big enough? Uh, I think we're gonna find out. Yeah, we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's gonna Luckily be a bit of a trial Simon. and error. We're Simon. Uh, <laughs> nothing. Uh, One thing I would like. First gun! <laughs> <laughs> One Can I not have a 360 camera like the new Audi? <laughs> yeah, just that's the exhaust top. pipe, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, one of those big shark fanarums to go on the top of the roof nice, as well. Nice, yeah, they're trendy. Yeah. yeah. Period correct. Yeah. <laughs> and neons as well. Let's I'm, get the I don't re uh, to be fair, I probably will need parking tents on this. You're not joking though, right? You're the one I've got. You're being serious? I'm a rubbish driver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want that, it's sick. <laughs> Why? Oh, no, no, you're such a nice guy, Steve. You're such a look, nice guy. There it is. There it is, look. Happy days, thank you. Fucking you put that Good. I've got this one pound good. ninety. He's done all right. <laughs> Two pound ten. I don't know what I'm for a quick. <laughs> good, good win. Oh. Everybody so we're going to head over to the body shop now, um, have a look at paint so far on the cab. It's, it's missing quite a big bit of the truck at the minute, which is the front part of it. So we'll go and have a look at that, see how that's going on. Simon will probably try and pick fault because he's like the paint fault master. Except for his own. <laughs> 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 right, should we go? Let's do it. Let's do it. So what's happening Simon, what have you done to us? So I'm running out of fuel. Three miles left. We've got three miles left and we've got 10 miles to the petrol station. Oh, <laughs> will we make it? Good stuff. Nah, I don't know. We've got a whole day in it. It's only two o'clock. Whole day? There's nothing around here. It's just fuel. <laughs> nah, but you've got cows. You're walking to the petrol station. You've got cows. Oh, what, you're going to ride a cow? I can ride a cow. <laughs> <laughs> Put some milk in the tank. It'll be all right. Nah, but you, if you get hungry, you can always have a steak. First, you can always have a fresh pint of milk. Still be warm. Oh, no. What? Oh, we're here. Oh. I we were going over there for a little farm. Oh, we are on a farm. Look, there's horses. Like... Oh. Oh, how's it going, mate? I'm Rob. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, not too bad, thank you. Hello, mate. Hello, Hello mate. Sam. Sam. You're all right. Yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> amazing. Oh, my God. We had a problem with the door gaps being a bit tight around the tops, so I rasped all the edges of the doors off. I'd rather it came to you and be perfect than you have it and not be happy with it. Yeah. Now, there is another problem that I've spoken to Steve about, and I'm not, sure, about and I'm not sure how you feel about it. With it being a show car, because it's pastel colour, the darker pigment in the 2K will sink to the bottom of the, the coat, if that makes sense. Yep. So in between coats, it's the same colour, but the black will sink down. Right. Now, yeah. what's the solution? Clear coat. Back. Clear coat over the top of that. We get a bit of premium clear coat, but if it's not what you want, then I want it to look very period and I always find with a clear coated finish there's it always just don't quite look right. What kind um, of finish are you going for? You go for a complete shine you, or are you going for a complete shine I want no peel so if, orange if, peel if you no, bear me two seconds everywhere even like then you're better off going with, with clear. clear if you look at the dashboard and I hate to say this but I polished the dashboard and it went through on the edges of the this but the, the lettering yeah. What I didn't want is you guys to fit it up and it go through again. So we lacquered the dash. What kind of lacquer would you like? Sort of prefer like a Noble or like a Lecla? I mean, oh, generally being off like by people who are experts in that side of things. Right. To be honest, I, mean, so I know a lot about polishing cars and yeah. Yeah. making them look nice. We generally deal with OEM paint types. Um, yeah. Well, we do a lot of Porsches here, and I always use Lecla, and I've never had a problem. It's an ultra high solid lacquer. It serves well to go with something you 
used to using yeah. as well because yeah. there is differences between how they lay on, no. how they work, so it would make sense to go with something that you've got experience with. Yeah, no, that's fine. Jim, how are we doing? All good. Whoa, I thought you were getting in my seat. Oh. Can't get the bossy seat. <laughs> Okay, so we've just on our way back now from visiting the guys over at Old Bones and we've been checking out the fab work on the chassis. As you can see, it's come a long way since the last time we sort of gave you an update on the vehicle. I know back then it was just a pile of parts and now it's kind of a pile of shinier parts I've put back together, but it is making real headway. You can see the LS3's actually now got an Edelbrock supercharger on it, but not the Pro Charger that we sort of spoke about in previous videos. Um, that was for a number of reasons. We ran into some issues running the Pro Charger. We would have to cut too much out of the inner wings in that particular vehicle, and we didn't want to kind of chop the car up that much. The look we're trying to go with is a very sort of traditional looking vehicle on the outside, and then when you open up the bonnet or lift up the back, you can kind of see the fab work has gone into it. It's a little more modern underneath and we would have lost that slightly if we went for the Pro Charger route. However, that said, the Edelbrock Supercharger will see that LS3 good for about 580 horsepower, so it's not like it's gonna be slow anyway. All the brakes, the running gear, the suspension, all the air ride and stuff's been fitted up now, just needs plumbing in. We've also been over to the paint shop. You've got the first glimpse of the color we've gone there. Um, we've gone with a pastely sort of green for the vehicle. We had to discuss some options regarding whether we went with a solid colour or we clear coated over the top and we've made the decision to go with a clear coat on this one. It does come out shinier and that's proven from a couple of spray outs the guys done for us to have a look at. You'll notice that it's been painted and then flatted back down again. That's because there was a couple of little issues with the shuts and some of the lines and the bodywork weren't quite A1. And the guys over there that are painting it want to do a, a sort of top job for us. They understand it's an important car for us. It's the first project car that we've actually painted. All the others we've inherited paint jobs from somebody else and then made the best of them with detailing products, which is a great thing from the business's point of view. But we've always had that urge to sort of paint our own car and start from day dot on something that we had painted for us. So it's going along nicely. Um, you've seen the wheels there as well. They've come out amazing and they follow that suit of what we want to do with the old school look but just enhanced. I feel they've come out really well. We had seen pictures of them before but I really don't think pictures or maybe even a video quite do them justice. The width of them is just unreal. So we're looking forward to seeing it all fitted up and that should be the next video. When we visit again, the vehicle should be in the last stages of it being put together. We're hoping to have the car back finished and make its debut at fitted at the end of next month, which is July, uh, July 27th to 28th. So we're hoping to have the vehicle back for that show and that's where you'll be able to see it first. See you on the next one.